I um just listened back to a previous recording. There's still a clicking, but it wasn't as bad as with these things. So hopefully it's not as annoying to you as it is to me with wanting things to be right. Um, because of one of my comments in a, one of my other videos about me liking time signature changes in my music, um, somebody mentioned Nightwish to me. Now I've heard of Nightwish and I think I've seen something of theirs um, reacted to before. Um, but I haven't really dived into their work. Um, the one I've got here is Ghost Love Score and it's a live version. Um, that was the song that was recommended that I should check out first. So I'm um, checking it out with you here. Now it's got a good starting beat and building up. The um, the keyboard was giving a fair bit of atmosphere to it, and now it sounds kind of like strings, but I'm pretty sure it's still just the keyboard. Um, like it's building an atmosphere for the song. too much further. There was that, that interesting intro after the build up and some of it I almost was gonna say it's a little bit fine made English. Um that sort of thing. Um and then just before the scene it just went oh, to a steady four four beat which is what it's going with, with what she's coming in. Beautiful voice on her. Must be classically trained, like as in operatically trained, 
that's beautiful her voice um and just it's amazing the difference the mood is when you've just got the simple beat of the drum and the bass and then when the guitar comes in with da 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 that sort of thing. It's still keeping to the 4-4, but it just changes the dynamic of the song a bit. Um, and then her voice just floating over it. Um, I think I've heard the term coined symphonic rock, which this would probably fall into. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm learning. Um, this is nice. set up Got a feeling it's going to jump into something different, but um, the way the crowd then was singing along with the guitar tune, um, times that I've seen that happen is when the, the guitar break is known to be loved by the fans. Um, couple of Metallica songs like that. Um, I'm trying to think of whether it was Master of Puppets or <sighs> completely lost it. Great Metallica song, and it's just gone out of my head. But the guitar break, the crowd will sing the guitar break. That sort of thing. And they hear it through the whole audience, and that's what they remind me of. That sort of, the fans know the music, and they love that bit, and they sing the guitar lead. Um, true artistry. Thanks. You can get almost almost anything on Uber Eats now. Doesn't mean you have to get almost almost anything. You're Sorry right. I should stop. Right after this. Thanks. Mom, put the phone down. One more.
very theatrical, isn't it? Um, and she got a little bit of distortion in her voice, then very controlled. And you know, really suited this one. So just in case there's something's coming up here. That bit to the flow of it actually sounds very much um very much like a uh, Irish or Norse type um folk song. And the, the singing along with that sort of flow, it sounds very much like that.
Okay, so obviously the, the ending of a, uh, of a set or concert. Um, I did notice some of the key changes, especially through the bit that I said was more like a, a folk song and then into the, just the 4-4. Four, four. There was a couple of little time changes, I think, where the, um, the in-between, the drumming, that her singing as they got into that last part. Beautiful, powerful voice, some of that high note that was held, and then with a little bit of a vibrato right at the end. Um, and you get to see that like the crowd were waiting for that, and they just loved that powerful voice at the end. Um, the big section in the middle, where there was a lull, with a little bit of music, and then like, the keyboards came out and threw some stuff out to the crowd. I don't know if that is in the original score for the song, or whether that was just done here, or that's how they do it in concert. So I might have to go and find this as a, if they've got an official, just a video clip, um, just for that sake. Um, but beautiful singing. Um, I've somehow got a feeling that this song doesn't demonstrate the breadth of this band. There's got to be more to them. Um, maybe that's just me wishing, but I really think there's got to be more to this band. So I'll be searching some stuff on it. Um, this is why I started this channel, to find music that I'm not hearing. Because as I've said in other videos, I've obviously been living under a rock. Um, I'm in Australia, bottom of the planet, so I'm kind of under the rock of the planet, if you want to put it that way. But um, that was good. I'm going to look for some more stuff. Uh, what's your opinion of Nightwish? Because like I said, there was only one person who asked about this. Do other people who are coming to this channel like this band, like this type of music as well?